Here's that paper. paper. No, we don't like them. Just like that. What's going on? Go ahead, Brian. Yep. Hey guys, Brian Allen, Golden we'll Deer Camera. I've got one for both of you, if that's okay. Um, so it's Travis, and uh, Travis, also a huge night for you. Uh, you talk about the one touchdown catch you had where the guy pretty much uh, had, his, had his arm around your, your head a little bit. Can you talk about that one in particular? Uh, it's funny because he got on me for not catching the one that we called the flag because I told him to throw me the ball no matter what. So he got mad at me. He was like, I don't care, catch the ball. So that one, I just know I had to catch the ball. I had no other choice, no other option. So whatever I had to do to get the ball, I was going to do it. And, and sure, just the night tonight. I mean, uh, the passing game was obviously working pretty well. And yeah. how much fun was it to click with, with Travis uh, like that and Jimmy like you did and then just kind of get that passing game going? Well, I mean, it, it was it was it was cool, but every incompletion it it hurts me inside a little bit for sure. Besides the ones you know we throw away, get out of trouble, but uh, I'm thankful. I'm excited for a win, but it's definitely situations in that game I personally could have handled better. It's throws you know I could have made, it's checkdowns I could have got to. So uh, really, the main goal tonight is just recover a little bit and watch the film and see where we got to improve. Thanks, Joe. Joe Rico, Mile High Sports Radio. You guys have amazing chemistry. This must go way back. Talk a little bit about your history because you guys are just phenomenal effort by Travis and throughout so many plays. And you seem to know exactly where he is. He seems to know exactly where the ball is going to be. Great effort. Well, it was really a connection because he, 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 he made the decision to defy the odds to go in a different route and come to Jackson State at the time. And like from then on, it's like something that I look back and now I really respect him a lot for because, you know, a player of his caliber didn't have to do that, you know, but he did. And that's powerful right there. So then years on years on years of connections, years of talking about different things, he plays defensive back. So he understands body position. He understands a lot of things a lot of receivers don't understand. So that's like the pro of, you know, having him on there when he practice all week on defense sometimes or. Uh, then he gets out there and he handles his business, and it's it's just we we, we locked in mentally. So that's that's the overall goal. I'm I'm trying to get with all the receivers, really, because everybody know each game somebody's gonna shine. You know, like I didn't know Jimmy had 198 yards today. He should have been right here, right? Here. Every, everybody everybody got involved, so that's that's what's good. Everybody, but we just gotta make sure, uh, you know, everybody gets the ball. Adam. Uh, Mr. Tiger, 24 7 Sports. You we were, we were hit a few times, but sacked just once. How did the pocket feel uh, tonight for you? The yeah, Olama had an incentive. That's it. They, they had a great incentive. So, <laughs> so they definitely they definitely did what they were supposed to do today. So, no, nah, it feels good. I feel, I feel real good coming out the game. Uh, but we still got to recover the right way, make sure, you know, going into the following weeks is, is compound interest. So, it's keep getting hit over and over and over and over. And that was kind of like my first hit since like November. So it felt good, you know, to be live out there a little bit. Go ahead. Uh, Travis, just for you defensively, what was the main difference for you guys between the first and the second half? Uh, I mean, we had to get our eyes right in the right place. I mean, they came out, we already knew what we had to do, but somehow we was we took them as a pool. We didn't respect them enough to come out there and just play how we needed to play in the second half, how we did in the first half. So. We had to come out there and just put our eyes in the right spot. I mean, Coach chewed us out at halftime, let us know what we got to do. We got to stop them. We got to get stops, let our offense go to work, and that's what we came out to do. It's complimentary football. So, you know, when we need them to show up, they'll be there. When we got to show up, we'll be there. But everything less than scoring every drive is is is, is kind of like a little failure to us because we take the game so serious. We take each drive so serious, and you don't know what play could have been the play you know, to, to decide the game. So that's why it's like we enjoy the win overall, but it's definitely a lot of stuff we left on the table. It's quicker things that could have got to the reads, and it's just nothing but room for improvement. But that's that's a great starting point versus a great team. Like, it's really hard to get the tails on what coverage and everything they do. So I'm just I'm just happy that we was able to face them, a real challenge. Shooter, you've talked about your relationship with Capture, 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know, comfortable in this offense mm-hmm. knowing what you're seeing ahead of time. Yeah. Did that manifest itself in the 17 play drive? It felt like you were in control. Did, was that good to feel that? Yeah, that like that, that was that was really good to feel. It was. On the 17 play drive? I think. 8 10 off the clock. Hmm? You said 8 10 off the clock in that drive? Or you all had the ball for 8 12 in the first half? Yeah. So that one drive. Yeah, that was crazy. We didn't even feel like that. But all it was was, you know, just dad and everybody just getting back to the basics. And that's why I, I told him, I said, let's just get back to the basics. They came out and they did something that I seen on film once, you know. So we was able to adjust and see, okay, these, this guy is dropping here. This guy is doing this. And when we get this look, this is what's going to happen. So it was, it was, that's when, that's when the magic started. Great communication. I was going to ask you, we haven't had a chance to speak to you um, so far. What are your goals for this year? How do you feel about this season? I got no personal goals. I mean, I just want my team to come out here and win every week. And I want us to go out there and just dominate, do our job. I mean, we got a target on us, man. We got to go out and win. We got to make a statement. We got to let everybody know we're here to stay. We're not here, we're not here no mediocre teams. I mean, that's why I don't want to talk to the media. I just want to go to work with my guys and let them know that I'm here with y'all. Like, y'all got to have my back just like I got y'all back. Let's go in here and let's win. But honestly, it's honestly no personal goals, though. That that's that's the bit. You know, a lot of people say that, but honestly, we just want to win games. Like that's it. Like we just trying to win games. Whatever, everything else is that. But of course, we gotta get comp- a lot of completions, though. But personal goals, we don't we don't really care about that. Just wins. Tyler, Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Sure, your your dad was in here saying that the the pass to Lejante was something you kind of checked into because you wanted to get him a big play. Um, I mean. What were you seeing on that play that you just wanted to get? Like Cover zero. Cover zero, and we have like the best receiver room in the nation, so it's kind of like disrespectful. So it was, it was, it was something I definitely would learn from. So that's why I'm happy. Everything in my life, uh, I always was able to learn from it. So you, it's not too many mistakes you're gonna see I made twice. You know, so that's just something I'm gonna learn, understand that, and even if it looks super tempting, and it's just like still like you just gotta. You know, just go with it. So it's a lot of situations like play clock and everything that we're getting back into the flow of the games. But I'm just excited about the starting point and excited getting everybody involved. And next week we'll be locked in and focused. Uh, for you, Travis, athletes like LeBron James, Patrick Patane just tweeted, Travis is vulnerable and I've never seen anything like it. When you hear all of these positive comments coming from some of the best players around the league in basketball, wherever, how much does that feel you in your game and recognize you are – one of the best athletes in college football. I mean, it don't do nothing to me at all. I mean, it's a lot of people that love me. It's a lot of people that hate me. If I try to look on the internet and see what people saying about me, it's not going to be good for me. I mean, I'll be down in my shell, not want to talk to nobody, because it's a lot of haters, but it's a lot of good people. So I don't even try to look at it. I don't pay attention to it. I just want to win with my team, go out with my brothers, and at the end goal, I want us to be holding up a trophy. Sir, Brian. Travis, I want to ask you about one of your teammates, uh, yeah. Cam, someone very looked down yeah. tonight. What happened to him? Uh, tackle. Okay, yeah. Well, Savion Riley came in and played a pretty good game. Do you yeah. have a Savion and just kind of where he stacked up tonight? I mean, Cam been on him. I mean, in the weight room, him and Cam work out. He try to do something that Cam don't like, don't mess with. He gonna, Cam going to make sure he fix it because he knows. Like, if I go down, you got to get in there. You got to be the next dude to go in there and lead us. So, I mean, Cam did a pretty good job of helping him out this offseason, teaching him the way to go and, like, how everything, how you got to treat your body, how you got to go along with everything, how you got to be in the playbook. So Cam did a real good job of doing that. So we know when he got in the game, all we got to do is communicate with each other and we'll be going in there and we'll be doing what we've been doing, even if Cam not in there. Phil Davis. Uh, sure. Uh, David, I'm Mostly Athletic. How does this offense compare to where you guys ran last year, and how does that process of like game planning and game day, how does that compare to what you guys ran when you guys ran? Well, it was really tough in practice. It's, it, it's tough, just like you said, like Savion, like it's – Going against the safety like him, because I go, you know, ones go against twos and everything. But it, it really gives him prepared, you know, for the moment. And he prepares me for the other safeties we're going to face just by looking them off, just by small details and what he's talented at and how rangy he is also. So um, I feel like overall, like mentally, I've I, I grown. I watch a lot more football than I ever done now because I'm really like, you know, a student of the game and I, and I just love seeing how everybody else figures out and fixes different problems in the game. So that's just what amazes me. What about working with, with Coach Shermer? Oh, yeah. Coach Shermer, Coach Shermer is real easy. It was definitely – I feel like we definitely – we trust each other. Um, he sees things a certain way. I see things a certain way, and then we're able to communicate. 
Like, if he says, okay, it's this play, I, I asked him, okay, what are you seeing here? Like, so I can understand, like, his thought process and same vice versa. So it's very complimentary, and, 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 I, love, and I love it. Scott, go ahead. Just a uh, question for both of you. Uh, Shador, you mentioned getting a lot of guys involved. I think four, maybe five of your first completions were to different guys. One of them being Draylon. It seemed like there was a bit of an effort early on, and even later on, to get him involved, get him in touch. What do you like about his game? What do you see out of him and Travis as well? Well, it's really to get all the receivers involved. It's just about really what coverage, you know, it's about the coverage. It's not really even about the the super pretty much ice on, you know, it plays break down, plays break down, but overall it was, that's just how football is. You know, you're not just looking at, I'll say one guy the whole time, you're going through different reads, you're going through different things and anything you're unsure of, you know, you're going to find the running backs, you're going to find the check downs, whatever it's shallows, anything, comebacks, anything. So that that's the main thing is really, it's not about, it's not about what receivers are in what places, it's just about what the read and what the defense gives